welcome to your Allah Rituals reading for the month of April 2020. I know I'm a little bit late, but also I was very busy in uh, building up a website for you guys. So if you want to book your own personal reading, you can now do this through the website. It's www.avalonrituals.com. And you can also sign up for the newsletter because if you do, you get 10% off your first reading or item you book on the shop. So go there and uh, have a browse around. Uh, also, it's the 4th of April today, so we have a 444 day because 2020 is also the number 4. And it's a very, very special day. I thought it's a great day to publish the website, to get out there and to share it with you. So, Aries, Sun and Rising, I will now tune into the energies, I will send out some healing with the most favourite singing bowl. Uh, so if you don't like to receive the singing bowl, uh, just skip to 2 minutes 30 roundabout, that's when I am going to start with your reading. And in case you would like some relaxation and healing energies, then you have the opportunity now to receive... So if you like, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and exhale. is that you are in this card deck reading as well indicated by the woman down here um, of course there's a male person as well this would be a love interest I always need to decide who you are in this reading uh, so even um, if you are watching as a male person you Aries are this person here love interest is over here so I can see you are in the destiny line. What does it mean? Um, okay, so usually if you would have this as a large reading for let's say uh, six months or, uh, or a year, this would be the headline of the year. So this is uh, basically the headline of the month now, something that is really uh, the, the main topic. And then we will also have a look at the cards here in, in the first row because they are important as well. So there is something nagging on you about some blockages of moving. Um, it's really simple as that to read. There are some blockages also in your work life because that is where uh, the house of the work is here. Um, but um, let's see where this goes. So something is nagging on you. It might be that there's a sense of loss. Um, but again, the, there is a blockage and the blockage is here, as you can see, um, in between you and moving. But also I do see, and that is basically, if that is the headline, that is, that is the subline or the subtitle or however you want to call it. Uh, this is regarding your life. There is a big life decision and there is going to be a key moment for you that is also a karmic situation here. So 
even though at the moment you are moving or you are going out or you're this is the card of action it would be also the mars card it's like being active going out um it can be being social it can be moving moving houses moving countries going on a journey all these things at the moment block blocked but i do see that you have um a decision that is coming here for you and that is clearly coming um, and that is regarding your life. Let's see what are you thinking about. First of all, I want to say there is a lot on top of you. It seems like you're carrying the world on your shoulders because there's literally so much on top of you here. So let's see. Um, okay, you're thinking about your emotional life. There are some fears and worries or doubts also about partnerships and contracts. This could refer also to your business life, contracts about business. But having this, it's like karmic contracts. That's a, this is karma. This is your, um, your karma, your purpose. Um, could also be your beliefs. So something is going on in your emotional life that is causing some fears and stress here, um, maybe of karmic cycles, of karmic partnerships. Um, when I follow now your card, I can see that is uh, basically your house. So. Um, your immediate environment is at the moment in your house where you live. So there's a situation in your work and your home life that actually is here also karmic. So there's a karmic situation related to your home life, which could be your immediate environment. It's not just the flat or the house where you're living in. It can also be everything that is very close to you, everything you're good at. Um, everything you feel very comfortable with, that is everything. It can also relate to your close friend circle, to your family. Also, it's a sense of stability. There is something related to those topics that can be a little bit of a burden. Or that is, well, for me, this is really a life lesson, right? Uh, and the life lesson leads now to the rider. So something with this life lesson is moving forward and there is, even though it is at the moment still blocked, in general there is something moving forward in your life. And there is a tricky situation related to your to, to, to life. Um, interestingly, the tree can also stand for health so that can indicate, okay, there is a little bit of a tricky situation regarding health here for some of you. Uh, and of course, I mean, looking onto the global uh, experience we have, we share, uh, of course, there is this health situation going on. But this is leading, actually, here there is a blessing in this tricky situation that we are experiencing in life at the moment, there is a blessing and the blessing is leading to the ice bear or polar bear and that means strength. This is your strength. This is your self-worth. This is knowing what you want and that's the blessing in this situation because you need to know what you want. You need to know what you're worth. You need to have a, you need to be strong within yourself in order to like things moving again and flowing again. Also this can indicate, because this is your strength and self-worth, therefore this card, this card can stand for your, uh, your wealth. So it might be that there is a blessing coming your way regarding your wealth and the fishes can indicate finances. So it might be also when I have a look around here that there is a blessing coming in or unexpected money or something uh, financially that there is some money coming in and a positive change onto the money situation. You have long-term luck and short luck. Some things that need to be cleared definitely here. So maybe there is some uh, energy healing you can do regarding the topic of finances, which again relates to your self-worth. And also, this is very interesting here, this is being seen in public being seen, or this can be also um, work or um, 
being seen, being recognized in public, the park, the garden is the public, and then we have something, um, interestingly, this can be letting go of something, but depending on where, which direction the, po the tip uh, is pointing towards, basically the other side is what you're gaining. You're gaining something out of this here, because this is where you bring in the harvest, you bring in harvest from a situation, in, from a public situation, you bring in harvest. Um, so, let me see. Emotional life. There is still some clearing, some energy healing, some clearing. It might be even communication. Communication that will, let's see, that 19F, it brings clarity. Still some cleaning, some cleansing that is going to bring even more clarity and a positive change regarding your law of interest, which is then again back in, in then we're going to go back to the, um, to the law of carbon that cycle has closed, so that's interesting. Um, let's see the topic around partnership and contracts. Clarity is coming in, there might be something uh, hidden, some knowledge that is hidden or something that you're going to study. Um, that is one thing related to, as I've said, partnerships or even uh, contracts. There is a new beginning, there are some insecurities about this new beginning. And um, interestingly, can this now stand for a transformation of a, a situation? Or it could be a stalemate that at the moment it's like stuck and it's not moving. Um, so it might be that the new beginning at the moment is a little bit stuck, but it is it is there. Um, so that's that's good. And here we have a key moment for a karmic situation that is quite tricky. Um, also, interestingly, if I now follow the partnership or the ring card, which indicates, as I've said again, contracts become directly to A, your stability, or B, work. And then we see the work is blocked. So there are contracts, work-related contracts, or commitments, or things that you do work-wise that are blocked. Wow, okay, they are blocked and here we have again the card of okay, maybe it's a little bit stuck at the moment. Also, it can relate if you have this card and this card next to each other because this is also a change in a situation. Um, I do feel for, the, for, for many of you there are work-related blockages and they are a little bit stuck, they are not really moving. But I also sense that there is, because we also have the sun here next to the card, the sun is also the positive, most positive card, which um, even if you have the card of a transformation, which can be quite a heavy card, or a card of, of being stuck, this is softening, softening the effect of this one. So I do feel that on the horizon there is something transforming. And then we have here the card of, um, again, the harvest. This could also be something that is, um, that something needs to be let go of. That leads interestingly also here to the tower. The tower in this deck, um, different meanings, but since we are in the work in the work line, basically it's also you being independent. And that's the new beginning here. You becoming independent, self-employed. 6543. So maybe there is the study that you are still learning something for in, in order to this in order for this new beginning to happen. Or there is something hidden or um, a, a secret or a knowledge that is hidden from you at the moment about this uh, new beginning. What I want to do is I want to use uh, the tarot on top of it. So we have gone now into a couple of areas. Um, when I do these readings for you, I can either just literally jump in like I do now without any question up front and just go from one thing to another and see what shows up. But also um, knowing your situation and um, 
um, having like real questions from you guys uh, would also help to really go deeper into this reading and to see the cards surrounding a specific topic. So if you want your own reading, you can always get it um, just like like this in a sense of, okay, you're curious and I'm just going to jump into every area of life. Um, or you can ask specific questions for specific topics because then I can relate the cards directly to the topic, which sometimes make it, makes, it a, makes it a bit easier. So just keep in mind that what I did now so far is not the whole reading yet, but I do want to clarify some things here with the tarot cards and uh, also I'm keeping these videos well, a little bit shorter than a personal reading. Um, because if I would go now into every area of life, then we would sit quite a while here. Two cards jumped out. Okay. We have the Nine of Wands and the Six of Wands. So this is fire energy. Um, the Nine of Wands is about past wounds, hurts, and um, situations um, that you have survived but you are a little bit wounded and this uh, and here we have the six of ones which is um, in this card you see a hand fasting ceremony um, it's, it's about celebrating life interestingly though this is the six the nine and this is the six it's um, I would say that from from the journey point of view of the ones it does make sense that there are wounds and you are there are past fights and arguments and wounds and battles and conflicts that you have worked through and this card indicates coming home and getting celebrated now after you went through the battles so i do feel like it's a time now to acknowledge your achievements your accomplishments and to to celebrate yourself you have been through a lot and uh, I do feel like, like it's time now to, to celebrate yourself, get some rest, you need a time out, you need a rest. Um, that's a card for meditation, for having a, uh, yeah, for restoring your, your energy, your strength again. And um, yeah, okay, what are the additional cards for Aries? There is the opportunity for new stability within yourself but also manifesting uh, in your outside world. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles is a divine given opportunity um, of the Pentacles of course, so uh, of the coins which can indicate financial, um, a financial blessing coming in which would relate also in the Lina more to this um, row that we had. Um, there is something that is really um, triggering your emotional life. This is a flirt or a new romance. Um, it can be a water sign, it could be a younger person. Um, it is something where your heart starts to get a little bit excited again. Um, this can indicate, of course, your love life, your flirt in your love area. It can also indicate that an offer is coming in uh, in the work area or anywhere else really. That could be the birth of a child. Maybe um, a child has been uh, born in your family, in your friend circle. You know, this is everything that is new, that is coming in, that is something really positive for your um, for your emotions. So. We have also the Seven of Chalices. So I, I guess that for some of you, and that can relate to the road that we can't really see right now, there have been some illusions or delusions maybe even, uh, some wishful thinking um, about emotions. So that's why I feel like this row that we have behind these uh, cards where it's about unclarities, uncertainties or fears about your emotional life and about karmic contracts here. So it might be that um, that is related to, to this topic. Mm, there is some conflict, okay. 
So this is conflict. It could also indicate a sense of competition. Hmm, let's see. This is interesting. We get an interesting row here. And we have the strength card. Okay. So what I want to say is that it might be that something is coming. This could relate if we read this in a row and have those cards together. Something coming in that is triggering your uh, emotions. In this in this case, very positive. Um, there might be something that you can't see clearly. <clears throat> it might be that there is some conflict. It could be that this conflict is within you and your emotional life, so it does not necessarily need to massively be manifested in the outside, but it could be something, as I've said, that you're realizing about you, your own uh, life and patterns, emotional life. And the strength card is inner strength through self-control. I always see the lion that has been, uh, well, he is the green man, but in general, um, the lion would be tamed by the woman with her hands. And for me, this card always says that we all have this instinctive center or the, let's say, the inner child or when we get triggered and someone is pushing our buttons, um, or a situation is pushing our buttons, then we are in an automatic mode. And sometimes that can lead to us lashing out and trying to hurt other people. And I do feel the strength card is about not hurting other people uh, with your with your animalistic side, with your instinctive side, your, your lion, your inner lion. And it's about inner strength through self-control. So control. it doesn't mean that you need to back off um, when, when something is not right. You, of course, need to stand up for yourself, um, which is also the next card that we have here, the Queen of Swords, uh, where it's, it's about... This is a card of really someone who's very strong within themselves, knows what she deserves, very intellectual, and she cuts the bullshit off, basically. So she cuts herself off, off from the things um, that are not for her highest good. Um, so it is about standing up, but also in the process, do it in a gentle way in a loving way, as much as possible. Okay. We have the King of Pentacles. So now, interestingly, we have, this could be a water sign. Again, it doesn't have to be, it could just be uh, the impulse coming in. This uh, can be an air sign, it could also be your qualities of you being really radical now and really taking care of yourself and what you allow in your energy and what not. This can be an earth sign, of course, uh, also with the king, could indicate a male person. But it can also indicate you and the energies surrounding you or that you're going to have now. And the king of pentacles is really much focused on himself, uh, not on himself, but on his own stability, strength, security. He's really working hard to achieve a sense of uh, security. And I would say he's very traditional, it doesn't have to be, but uh, this is for me the card of really working for you, for your stability. There is um, transformation going on in your life, um, which we had, oops, which we had uh, basically here, where I said I feel like there is a message, though some aspects, areas of your life are blocked, I do feel like also that is a key moment and a massive decision for your for your life. So interesting to see the death card there which is indicating the same. So what is the last card, the last message for Aries? Last message for Aries please. April 2020. Okay, the Eight of Swords, you are free to go. You are not bound to stay anywhere that is not serving you. So also here with the same thing, if you feel like you need to cut yourself off, if it's not serving you anymore, then that's okay. You need to do what is good and beneficial for your energy. Um, do it in a gently loving way. Um, yeah. And 
transform your life. Aries, let me know if you resonate with it. If so, leave me a comment or a like or subscribe to the channel. And um, if you like to browse through my website, as I've said, there is a 10% off with uh, register or signing up for the newsletter on my website now. I'm sending you so much love and health and uh, yes, yeah, stay healthy. See you next time.